Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, mommies and daddies. Thank you for tuning in to our 35th episode of RME's Music Lab. We're here to have some fun today. We've got songs all over the place that we've never played before. I've got an electric guitar sitting next to me today. Maybe we'll crank that up. Yeah, in honor of I think I saw Jimmy Van Hefty tune in. Yeah, yes. As always, I want to know who is tuned in. So send in your name. If you're new to the program, your age, what city and state you're from, so we could put you on our United States of America board. We've got people tuning in all across the country. We very much appreciate you and your support. We hope you're doing well. Seventh, the seventh week that we've been doing this from our living room, so I hope everybody is holding up. We're in it for the hall. We're doing it for each other. I'm proud of each and every one of you. I know everybody's doing their due diligence. I know there's a lot of people playing music out there, doing it in their living rooms, people doing it together. There's people making videos. Our curbside concerts for the River Music Experience are going great. I'm gonna go out and do one today with Jordan Danielson. We've got a handful of stops to make all throughout the Quad Cities. It's gonna be pretty exciting. It's a beautiful day outside to do it. So if you've got any Kindness to share, make sure you do that today because we all could use it. Reach out to somebody, let them know you're thinking about them and you'll love them. Let's see, we've got some blues lyrics that people have sent in, which is great, I'm excited to do those. Let me do the blues lyrics first, that way we can give a shout out to everybody who is tuned in to RME's Music Lab today. But first, we've got blues lyrics. Today's costume day I didn't know how to dress up Yeah, today's costume day I didn't know how to dress up Then I had a big urge To post a big layup On Nick Webb I needed some to cure my quarantine boredom. You know that's right. I needed something to cure my quarantine boredom. Yeah, I'm gonna go practice my jump shot. Just like Michael Jordan. Ooh, he's all the rage right now. Yes, I live in Tucson, Arizona, where the wildcats are keen. I lived in Tucson, Arizona, where the wildcats are keen. Yeah, baby, that's right. Michael Bibby posted up. Yeah, in 1997, they brought home that NCAA championship ring. And it was exciting. We got to skip school.
here's the blues lyrics for the day. I lived in Tucson, Arizona for seven years, and the last year I lived there, that's right, every year the Wildcats were always in the fighting for that Final Four spot, and in 1996-97 season, they took it home, and the whole city went bananas. It was the first time I've ever seen that, especially as a kid. I mean, the people hanging from light poles, uh, yeah, jumping up and down off of cars. We got a free day from school because of it. It was just such a big deal. It was super fun. I was a freshman in high school. I watched almost every game uh, for years because my buddy I ran around with, his dad was a huge Wildcat fan, told me all the, the history about it. So I got Miles Simon shirt on. Kate's got the number one, the one and only. Let's hit the applause button for Miss Kate. That's right, she's got Michael Bibby jersey on today. Yeah, the one and only. Yes, looks like he could just post up a three at any moment now. Woo! That's right. Sport ball goes with the blues. There we go. Uh, yeah, especially when you're a Cubs and a Bears fan. There's lots of blues in that. All right, I want to thank Renee Rosensteel for sending in some blues lyrics. Right, we were talking about a woman, woman justice, right? Lyrics in honor of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the honorable judge on the Supreme Court. She was hospitalized yesterday for gallbladder surgery. And the reason why she sent him in is because she's such a boss that she has taken, <laughs> she's taken all the arguments and still listening uh, from her hospital bed. So you can't keep her down. Um, she was appointed as Assistant Justice to the U.S. Supreme Court in 1993 by the Clinton administration, making her the second female of four to be confirmed by the U.S. Court, and she's beaten four bouts of cancer. She is just uh, superhuman. One, one tough cookie. She's one tough cookie. So thank you for sending that in. There's some fun facts of the day about our U.S. judicial system. <laughs> Not bad. All right, well, let's get going and play another tune here. And then we'll do some record. We got a couple for you today, which are super fun. I'm excited to share you with you. Um, I've gotten a request for this song um, about a week ago. So I figured, I don't know, it's a great tune. Mr. Bob Dylan, Robert Zimmerman wrote it, and uh, it's a good one. Let's see if we can pull this one off. <laughs> Shoutouts are coming. Mom, take this badge off of me.
go some Bob Dylan out of a request. That was a good one. I love that tune. All right, here's the fun part. I want to know who is tuned in today. Who do we have, Miss Kate? Hey, we've got Keith from Rock On. We've got Bob and Renee Rosensteel. Yeah. Thank you for the lyrics always. I very much appreciate it. It's good to have that back and forth. And Andy Ross tuned in, drummer extraordinaire, one of my great friends. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Andy Ross. Happy birthday to you. Yes, happy belated birthday, my friend. Wish we could have hung out together, but soon. We've got Leland Chasey tuned in today. Leland, I hope you're doing well. Your family's doing all right through all this, brother. Thank you for tuning in. We've got Mama Sharon from Bluegrass. Good morning, Ma. How are ya? We've got the Shannon family. Yes, Holly and the kids. Thank you so much for always supporting the show. You guys are great. From Coralville. That's right, Iowa City bound. We've got the Englishes tuned in. Good morning, guys. How are you today? And of course, drummer extraordinaire. Also, Jimmy Van Hefty tuned in today. Jimmy, I got a treat for you here pretty soon, buddy. My hat's off to you. I miss your face. Thank you so much for always tuning in. I appreciate it. We've got Brenda Jill tuned in today. Thank you so much. Hey. Yeah, we got Nick Webb. How are you, brother? <laughs> Good to see you. That's for you. We've got Jennifer Anderson Wilson tuned in. Jen, how are you? Thank you so much. Hope you're doing well. We've got Casey Schnell from Colorado tuned in today. That's amazing. Yes, and Christy Kell. How are you hanging out in Rock Island? I hope you're safe. We've got Sarah Henderman just joining up. Henderman clan, family clan. How are you today? And of course, we've got M3 from Galesburg. How awesome is that? I have a question that was popped up. Can anyone go to a curbside concert or do you need to schedule one? I would say you would need to schedule one unless you know somebody who did schedule one. That's been happening a lot. So everybody who schedules a curbside concert has the opportunity to let all of their neighbors know which people have been doing. It's been absolutely hilarious. We walk into a neighborhood, especially whenever we're in a cul-de-sac. Every single family in every house is in front of their homes in their lawn chairs. They've got coolers, their feet are up. Everybody's laughing, having a good time, kids running around in their yard, and everybody is enjoying these curbside concerts, right? Everybody's been social distancing extremely well, which is great. That's why we're going to continue to do this. We've got signups. They're filling up fast. We have them through May. We're going to add some more for the month after that. But yes, if you know anybody who's going, uh, who bought a curbside concert, and they reach out to you, I would say absolutely go. We've got people coming from all around, and uh, it's an absolute blast. Today I'm going out with the musician Jordan Danielson, who's absolutely great. I'm so excited to hang out with him today. So if you're interested in a curbside concert, check out our website, rivermusicexperience.org, under our events tab, curbside concerts. And if you have any questions, all our info is there. Shoot us a phone call or an email, and we'll get what you need. All right, it's record time. Today, one of the biggest, most popular American musicians. Um, it's fun. We have wanted to show his records to you for a while. He has a, over 13 records out that he's recorded. We're just going to show you two today, two of my favorites. We've got Mr. Billy Joel, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. This is Glass Houses from Billy Joel. This one right here is the ever so popular The Stranger, right? Billy Joel is an American singer, songwriter, piano player, and composer. He's an unbelievable musician. He's been playing since he was a kid. He is a New York man through and through. One of my favorite tunes from him is New York State of Mind. But in the comment section, we are going to post Moving Out from The Stranger, and we are going to post It's Only Rock and Roll to Me, from Glass Houses, because they're fun. All you kids out there listening, if you're not hip to Billy Joel, I want you to listen to those tunes because they're fun, they're danceable, his lyrics are always incredible. We're also going to post Piano Man in the comment section, just because you kids out there, you might as well get used to that tune now. It's one of the biggest club songs of all time. Anytime you walk in and you see a man sitting at a piano, there's a 100% chance you're going to hear Piano Man, and it's an unbelievable song. Here's some fun facts. Piano Man was the first major hit 
with Billy Joel in the 70s. It was uh, 1973. He has over 150 million records sold, making him one of the top selling artists of all time. We showed you some Elvis earlier this week, which was fun. You know, he's number one. Billy Joel with that number is getting really close. So uh, he has 33 top 40 hits off of 13 albums. That's unsurmountable. Like that's just incredibly massive. You know, so every time this guy writes a song, there's a high percentage chance that it's going to be a hit. That's how good he is. He's been nominated for 23 Grammys, winning five. He's in every Hall of Fame you can imagine. Songwriters Hall of Fame in 1992. 1999, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Kennedy Honors Awards. Uh, he still tours today without putting out an album in 19 years because he has so much material. Uh, he still sells out massive stadiums across the world. Him and his buddy Elton John get together. We showed you Elton John before. They do tours together, which is incredible. And I've actually got to see them together before. And Elton John is the man, and his songwriting is second to none. But when Billy Joel gets up there and starts playing, he just has that feel-good party vibe about him. And he turns the stadium inside and out. Super fun. Another fun fact is... Billy Joel has a residency at Madison Square Garden, one of the biggest and best stadiums, musical, uh, musical, I guess, events in the country, right? And he has sold it out and played 65 times, just as a residency. He's from New York, he's a New Yorker, he says, hey, I'm just gonna call up Madison Square Garden and just play to my New York friends, and he does all the time. So there you go. Listen to some Billy Joel today. He's a fun. It's beautiful outside. Open up some windows. Billy Joel's a good fresh air guy. So, all right. Well, let's play some more tunes. This one was also suggested to me. You know what? We're calling an audible. Calling an audible here. All right. We'll do that one later. It's electric guitar time. <laughs> showed you guys some Jimi Hendrix uh, last week, maybe, last week, the week before, and, uh, you know, always want to try and incorporate electric guitar in a little bit more. Jamie Aiken, Ripley, how you guys doing? Happy Wednesday. It's costume day. I hope you're dressed up. All right, so we were just thinking this would be a super fun song to do for you kids out there. This is a song that you need to listen to quite often. Um, so, why don't you stand up, get your dancing shoes on, let's have some fun. Yeah, gotta make that stank face. Wild thing. shaker and banging on a coffee can. But I want to know for sure. Come on and hold me tight, baby. Cause you're moving. So 
solo. Eat your heart out, Andy and Jimmy. Gentlemen, applause button for Kate. <sighs> Eat your heart out, Andy Ross. I'm getting better. Eat your heart out, Van Hefty. Watch out. Why haven't she learned how to shuffle? It's over with, fellas. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in to our 35th episode of RME's Music Lab. Absolutely incredible. We're right in the middle of our seventh full week of doing this. We're excited to finish out the week with you guys. Uh, Always remember that you're important and perfect for just being you. So keep on keeping on, everybody. I very much appreciate you guys always tuning in for collaborating with us, sending in blues lyrics, send in your suggestions. We've got a list of tunes. We've started just playing all of these requests. We've got a lot more to go, but we want to add more tunes to the list. So thank you guys so much. All right. You enjoy the River Music Experience? You can always go to rivermusicexperience.org slash donate. But more importantly, we just want you here Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. to 10.30 to hang out with us. So thank you guys so much for your support always. Stranger Glass Houses, listening to them all today, together. Thank you guys so much. We will see you tomorrow, 10 a.m. Woo! Listen to Billy Joel. Thanks for watching. If you want to help support River Music Experience and other programs like Music Lab, visit rivermusicexperience.org slash donate.